Let's begin with our weather map for tonight. Show you the cold air departing, heading back east. The New England states will be getting that cold weather. High pressure. Remember the big H was sitting up offshore here, diving down to the south, and now it's building a little bit to the north here. And mild weather coming up and over this ridge of high pressure. So our first storm system here comes through overnight tonight. It's going to run out of gas as it runs into this big ridge right here of high pressure. There'll be a little bit of light snow in the central mountains behind that. There's moisture in the Gulf of Alaska, also down to the south. It's going to link up, and that's going to be a a stronger storm system that will move in and give us a good chance for snow uh, late Saturday night, Sunday morning when you wake up in the mountains. A little light snow in the valley in the morning will likely turn over to rain as temperatures warm. We were in the single digits this morning in McCall, but we had sunshine through the day today. Again, the weather station not working this afternoon. Weather service working on those conditions there, but this is going to change for tomorrow. We're going to see a little bit of light snow. If you're heading up to the winter carnival, snow sculptures are still there the last weekend of the carnival. Uh, temperatures in the morning at 18, a little bit of light snow to be less than an inch. I th I'm thinking for the most part for McCall during the day, and I think the Highway 55 and 95 will probably be fine to travel on, but there could be slick spots. A break with a couple of snow flurries still possible into Saturday morning, then mostly cloudy for the core of the weekend. But it is Saturday night, Sunday. The timing now is about 5 a.m. for snow to come in, so you could get up early and travel back if you want to to beat the snow back into the valley because we are going to get about three to six inches of snow above 4,500 feet. McCall sits at 5,000 feet, so there will be snow, and I'm thinking when the sun comes up close to an inch on the ground with more snow coming. So the roads are going to be slick starting around 5, 530 in the morning on Sunday, so maybe you can make your travel plans there. Notice the difference in the systems. This is Friday. Little bit of blue showing up on the map. That's just a little bit of light snow, and then it goes by to the north. Here's Saturday with a bit of a break, but look at Sunday. This is about 5, 530 in the morning. You see the light snow coming in and then the heavier snow entering right along the Hell's Canyon here and then it pushes in. And so here we are about 11 o'clock in the morning and the snow is coming full force here now for central Idaho. Not a major storm, but several inches of snow likely. I'm thinking about six, seven or maybe even eight inches of snow between Sunday and then into Monday uh, up into the higher elevations of the ski areas for Brundage and Tamarack. Even Bogus Basin could get six, seven inches of snow out of this with just a couple of inches for catch. This is Friday. That little bit of light snow. That's really it. But this is through Sunday uh, again late in the day. This is the whole day Sunday. I don't think four to eight. I'm thinking three to six for McCall. The valley sees a little snow turns over to rain and then there's a chance for a little snow maybe Tuesday night Wednesday of next week into the Treasure Valley as colder air comes on in. Also I want to show you this long range chart here for about 10 days. Actually this is almost 15 days out. Some significant snow for the Sierra again in California. Great news there. We could use a little more snow than this but at least we're getting some. Some. We're not in this really dry weather pattern, which is good news. So tomorrow, a light rain or snow shower pushing through middle part of the day, late afternoon, especially, and then temperatures go up to 40, 42 maybe in Boise tomorrow. Southeast breeze will be blowing as well. So we're not going to have the benefits of the sunshine that we had today. A little bit of light snow, snow shower activity from a call, especially in the afternoon, but temperatures will be up by then. So road conditions should be fine as you're heading up to the winter carnival. Uh, maybe just do it in the daylight hours. Sun Valley area, a couple of snow flurries towards the evening snow showers over Galena Pass. There could be a coating to an inch of snow on Sunday. A little bit better chance for more moisture. Here's the extended forecast. 47 degrees on Saturday. We warm right up and so be very difficult to get any snow. We get a little snow possible Saturday morning. It's just not going to stick around. An 80% chance now of rain and 45. We stay in the 40s for the beginning of the week, maybe cooling down towards the end of next week. But again, mostly rain for the valley on Sunday.